Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jume. You just saw Phil's great piece on Kelly Walsh winning their first wrestling state title in school history. In 3A, Star Valley won their fourth wrestling state championship in a row. And in 2A, Moorcroft has now won seven straight. We also had a couple more great individual streaks from state wrestling this weekend. The first is Donnie Prophet from Kemmerer. By winning this year's state title at 145 pounds, he's now won a state title each year he's been in high school. Congratulations to Donnie on four state championships in a row. And my main man, Tate Stoddard from Glenrock. Tate made history Saturday by becoming the first Wyoming wrestler ever to win four consecutive state titles in the same weight class, all at 113 pounds. Big embrace with his coach, Nick Dillon. He really loves his herders over there. And then Tate climbs into the stands to hug his friends and family. Here's both of our four Pete state champions. This was a, it was a goal I set when I was like 10 years old. I saw my older brother win one, and I decided I want to win four. So it's been a dream of mine since I was just a little guy. My freshman year, I focused on really just winning and winning, winning, winning. And towards as I got older, I just uh, focused on having fun, you know, enjoying these these moments. You know, not everybody gets to enjoy this. I'm going to go eat some pizza, a lot of it, a lot of cookie pizza, and just enjoy my teammates because it's my last year. I get to hang out with them. And how about the Nordic Ski State Championships in Lander? For the Boys Classic 5K race, Elijah Weening from Jackson won the title by 15 seconds over Caleb Simonson from Lander. The girls' 5K was decided by just one and a half seconds. Lander's Kaylin Sandal beat Laramie's Abigail Whitman at the very end. And in the Freestyle 10K Boys race, it was the same one and two. Elijah opened up his lead on Caleb in the extra 5K, winning by 56 seconds. For the girls, one and two flip-flopped from the 5K. This time, Abigail beat Kalen by almost a minute. Great competition there. And as far as the team state champions, Jackson boys and girls won it all. We all know they're a ski dynasty. That makes their boys 14th state title in 16 years, and it's their girls' eighth state championship in a row. And if you weren't at those state competitions, then you might have been one of the 1,600 people at the sold-out Swede this weekend. That's where the number eight Casper College men beat the number five Sheridan College men by 19 points on Saturday. And check out the excitement of the Casper coaches after their guys' big win. You can see head coach Dan Russell and the T-Birds have unconditional love for each other. But that celebration was short-lived. That's because the T-Birds and Generals had identical 28-2 records after the game. So they had a coin toss to decide who will host the Region 9 tournament. Matt Hammer and Sheridan won the coin toss, so they'll host the conference championship in two weekends. And both coaches found it a bit silly that it came down to a coin toss. I'm not going to let the coin toss, you know, kind of deter, uh, you know, what we did and what we did on the floor and what we were in control of. And, um, you know, it was unfortunate it came to that, like I said, but um, it is what it is. It's definitely not um, ideal to, to me, just how long a conference season is and, you know, the, the work that both of us have put in and, and for it to come down to a coin flip kind of seems a little, uh, a little foolish to me. And also, guys, Rockies manager Bud Black just signed a three-year extension. So good news there. Very good news. I'm going to be heading down to spring training here soon. There you go. Well, I need some sun. Yeah, sun and warm weather. <laughs> we all need that. Yes. All right. Thank you, Carmen. We'll be right back after the break.